So the passing of Carrie Fisher was a tragedy, no matter which way you slice it. You know, it was really something that affected all Star Wars fans, no matter how you felt about the direction of Disney Star Wars or the prequels or anything. You know, that was the princess of the original trilogy, and her passing affected all of us. And, of course, as fans and as people who care about other people, you know, it was a very bad thing that happened, but it definitely appears to have affected the direction of where Disney Star Wars is going to go with the rise of Skywalker, or at least with Episode Nine. It probably didn't have that name when they were first conjuring it up, but we have an interesting article here that was written by, uh, well, written um, on Yahoo Entertainment by Ethan Alter, where basically it states Carrie Fisher's brother reveals new details about Leia's Rise of Skywalker role. She was going to be the last Jedi. So we're going to be discussing that here uh, and talk about this article. So like I said, the, the passing of Carrie Fisher, you know, they had to figure out what they were going to do and, and kind of shift directions. And there was talk of, you know, are they going to kill her, like kill the character uh, on in Last Jedi? Are they going to... Um, you know, make a CGI? Are they going to recast her? There was like a crazy rumor that Meryl Streep was going to come in and play Princess Leia. I don't think that would have gone over well. So instead what they've done is they've taken footage of Leia that was shot for The Force Awakens and for Last Jedi. They put it through the computers and kind of changed some things around, changed the backgrounds, the settings, you know, taking her out of wherever she was at. Probably a blue screen, uh, most likely, but who knows, or a green screen. Uh, and then kind of put her in a different position and kind of repurposed the old shots right from the previous two films into um, Rise of Skywalker. Case in point if you look at the trailer, there's that scene where they show Rey and Leia hugging and that scene is from The Force Awakens when she arrives back to the Resistance base after the fight on Starkiller base and the death of Han Solo you know, they're hugging and it's a very emotional thing and I, I remember hearing about that scene being shot way back, like a couple years ago, two or three years ago, and now it's being repurposed here for whatever reason. So I want to go ahead and get into, um, you know, Ethan Alter's article here and what her brother said. And essentially, you know, Carrie Fisher's brother, he wrote, he wrote this, Todd Fisher, who filled this in on what the plan was for his sister's iconic character prior to her sudden death in December 2016. Um, this is, you know, she passed away in December of 2016, right before the movie came out. She was going, or actually a year before, the, a year before, it was right, right around the time Rogue One came out, but a year before um, Last Jedi. And that's why everybody was wondering what was going to happen. So he writes, she was going to be the big payoff in the final film. Fisher reveals exclusively, exclusively to Yahoo Entertainment, she was going to be the Last Jedi, so to speak. That's cool, right? So, interesting. So, The Last Jedi, of course, was supposed to be symbolic of... Luke Skywalker being the last of the old Jedi and Rey being the first of the new Jedi. That's what Ryan Johnson was going for. And I think that effectively that is a good plan. You know, obviously I'm not a fan of that movie, but the idea of the transition between Luke into the next generation is one that we all kind of expected going into this trilogy. But we didn't know how it would be executed. Now, what's interesting about this is the idea that Leia was supposed to see some action here. That, uh, you know, and it goes on to say, people used to say to me, why is it that Carrie, Carrie never gets a lightsaber and chops up some bad guys? Fisher says, this is her brother, noting that Alec Guinness was roughly the same age when Obi-Wan Kenobi battled Darth Vader in New Hope. Obi-Wan was in his prime when he was Carrie's age. Um, and, uh, and they talk about here, you know, unfortunately a version of the Rise Skywalker where Leia picks up her father and brother's chosen weapon can only exist in our imaginations. After Fisher's death, the alter ego's arc had to be reconceived by the returning director, J.J. Abrams, who previously directed the actress in 2015's The Force Awakens. So he goes on to say, the truth is that J.J. Abrams was great, was great friends with Carrie, which is true. They were very close. Uh, he had extraordinary sense of love for her, her brother says. So I guess the idea they originally conceived was that Leia was supposed to pick up after Luke and kind of be Rey's mentor and eventually maybe see some action. So maybe we're going to see Rey fighting her own son, Kylo Ren. Maybe we're going to see Leia fight Palpatine. You know, we don't really know, but I think having a moment with Carrie Fisher's Leia, again, this is in a hypothetical alternate universe. If Carrie Fisher had never died, and there being a moment with Carrie Fisher's Leia doing something extraordinary. And I don't mean the Mary Poppins scene in Last Jedi because obviously that was supposed to be a tease that she knew the Force. But to me, the scene was just way too ridiculous. It was it was too much. But seeing her 
use the force like this, like a warrior, I wonder how it would have come off because part of me is thinking, okay, and by the way, this shot right here is the one I was talking about from Force Awakens. They repurposed this for for uh, Rise of Skywalker. But I want to say, uh, I wonder how it would have come off because granted, as a fan, I think it would have been a really nice thing to see, but also... Would it have been too hokey? Would it have been too cheesy and too unrealistic? Obviously, you know, when Attack of the Clones came out, the Yoda versus Dooku fight was like one, like a moment that fans had wanted for decades. But at the same time, it when you watch it back, it looks really bad. It looks really, really cheesy. And, you know, again, the, the effects at those times were not what they were now. So maybe if they did it now, it would have come off better. Plus, Leia didn't have to do all those crazy flips. She could have just used the lightsaber you know, in a defensive way, sort of like what Obi-Wan did, a more strategic way. She didn't have to fight prequel era style, you know what I mean? We don't have to see old Carrie Fisher doing flips and backflips. We don't have to see that, you know, just her having a battle would have been cool. But it just makes me wonder, you know, would people have bought it? And I think they probably would have because she is, you know, the same as Luke. They were twins, so theoretically speaking, if they're twins, the Force should give them equal powers or at least equal potential, you know? And we never really saw that from Leia. So, you know, it's unfortunate that it's never going to turn out this way, that we're never going to get to see that. But at the same time, I do wonder, would it have worked? Would it have been just fanboyish, you know, fan service? Or could it have actually been an effective story point? We'll never know. And I do hope that someday Abrams... I really hope this happens, but Disney's usually not good about this kind of stuff. I hope that one day Abrams actually, maybe when he retires in his memoirs, reveals his plans for the original, you know, trilogy. Obviously, you know, Ryan Johnson derailed a lot of his ideas, but I do wonder what he wanted to do. Just not the script, but like, because it wasn't written, but like, you know, just general story points that he would have differed from Ryan Johnson. You don't have to be insulting to say that you had different ideas from Ryan Johnson. He doesn't have to come off like aggressive towards Ryan Johnson, even though people would love to see that. Um, but more so like, okay, that's not what I had planned. I wanted to do this instead. I think it would have been respectable. Um, but again, this guy, it, you know, Disney might not want that because the corporation is in control and that's an unfortunate thing. Anyways, that's it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments section about Leia originally wanting to be, was supposed to have a great scene, a huge battle, maybe even be the hero of the Rise of Skywalker. We had heard in the past, I remember hearing in the past, folks, that Force Awakens was going to be Han's movie, Episode 8 was Luke, and Episode 9 was Leia. This was back when Force Awakens had first come out. So this all makes sense. This actually makes perfect sense to me. So let me know what you think, and thanks for watching.